Hey guys, I'm Eric Hansen. I'm uh, checking into you from my office in Flagstaff, Arizona. I just got this beautiful box. I think I know what it is. I'm gonna open it up and uh, we're gonna talk about some of the stuff that's inside. Coming up here shortly, I'm gonna be heading off to Australia to film the next episode of Epic Trails. I'm super excited to head off. I've never been to the continent of Australia. Uh, Australia has a diverse landscape and so I need some footwear that's going to be up to the task. So uh, let's take a look at what's inside here. Shing! Let's do this. <laughs> oh baby. Lots and lots of footwear. Let's see what we got. First item. Oh, now there's a pretty lady right there. First of all, let me just say, I'm incredibly excited to be working with Vask. Vask is a sponsor of Epic Trails, and uh, I'm really lucky with that because I've been using Vask footwear, and uh, I love their stuff. Their footwear is awesome, rock solid. Side note, if you hear a uh, beeping or a hammering. There is a construction site literally across the way. So if you ever hear anything in the background, it's the construction site, I apologize. Here I have a pair of the new Grand Traverses. These are an awesome pair of footwear that's going to be really an all-purpose type of footwear. It's got mega grip, which is super rad. So this is kind of like a light trail approach type shoe. You can basically do a whole lot in these. Uh, depending on the scenarios, I would feel really comfortable hiking and even backpacking in these. It's got the low ankle support. So sometimes if I'm carrying a heavy load, I want the high uh, ankle support. Uh, but just for, for traveling, when I'm running through the airports, when I'm doing lighter hikes, uh, I'm super excited about wearing these and uh, they certainly look really sexy too. There's a whole box of toys here. So these are the Talus Trek Ultra Dries. Uh, these look incredibly pretty as well. So this is gonna be more of a traditional hiking boot, uh, a lot more burly, a lot more ankle support, uh, waterproof technology going on all around. Uh, so this is gonna be a great one uh, for a lot of environments. We'll see about which is gonna be the best fit for hiking in Australia in a warm, dry desert environment. There's more. So this is a pair of the vertical velocities. Also, I need to caveat this. This is my first look at uh, all of this footwear. So I'm just riffing on what, uh, what I think. So I'm just going off of first impression. So this is my first time actually looking at, these, at all of these uh, shoes here. The vertical velocity, super pretty looking shoe. This looks like it has a really great amount of uh, ventilation. That seems to be the main thing for this piece. Uh, it's really lightweight, super lightweight shoe. Uh, I'm guessing that this is gonna be kind of like a, a distance trail type of shoe. Uh, something that people who are really committed to having light footwear uh, also could be going in and out of rivers and drying quickly. I just did a trip to Coyote Gulch and uh, this would have been the perfect footwear for hiking in and out of uh, the canyons where basically I was hiking in water all day long. This would be a footwear of choice for me in a place like that. Wow. Uh, so this is the Vask Cold Spark Ultra Dry. Uh, this is a winter hiking boot. Uh, so this is gonna be above and beyond what I need for Australia, certainly. Australia being uh, the summer deserts uh, when I'm heading down there. I will not be taking this shoe. Uh, I will be saving this for a much colder, wetter environment. Super excited for this. I will be using this later in the season of the filming schedule for Epic Trails when we do some winter hiking and trekking and uh, winter destinations. But uh, for my next one, I think I'm gonna have to wait even though they look so pretty. Ooh, these are classic looking. So these are the Sundowners. So this is this is a pretty classic type of hiking boot. Uh, so lots of ankle support. It's got a really rigid structure and uh, just that nice, super sexy leather boot uh, look. Great for a lot of what most people would be doing all over the place. I live in the Southwest. A lot of my hikes and treks are here in the desert. So I would probably choose some of their other footwear, but for the 
diverse trail conditions that I might encounter in other parts of the world, this would be a fantastic boot. Last but not least, let's see what we got. Here I have the St. Elias boot, uh, another full uh, support boot, classic look again with uh, the leather. And uh, this also has Gore-Tex in it, so it's gonna be waterproof throughout. Uh, so this is again, one that I would definitely wanna be using on a trail that has uh, variable conditions, uh, steep rocky terrain, uh, things that I want a lot of ankle support for this. This is gonna be a bomber for me. Look at that pile of boxes. I'm an incredibly lucky guy. I'm super thankful for Vasque for sending me all this footwear. And uh, I think that what I am going to take to Australia, for one, definitely going to be these Grand Traverses. These are going to be awesome for a ton of what I'm going to be doing and just being super comfortable uh, for when I'm not actively hiking with my pack on. But even when I am hiking with my pack on, I could certainly wear these as well. Super excited about these. Right now, I think I'm gonna lean towards these babies for being my primary boot uh, for hiking in Australia. Uh, this is gonna combine a lot of what I'm gonna be looking for. So it's got high ankle support, which is something that I personally really want when I'm hiking with a heavy pack on. It's got a little bit more in terms of being a lighter weight boot, so uh, not quite so hot, so better for a desert climate environment, while still providing waterproof technology so that even if I'm hiking through creeks, hiking in rain, whatever is gonna be thrown at me, uh, I'll be just fine in all of the trail conditions. So I hope you enjoyed the unveiling of all of the footwear that I'm going to be taking with me on the next set of episodes of Epic Trails. That was fun for me to get to see all of this exciting new stuff. These are all brand new shoes that uh, Vasquez just released, and I can't wait to actually test them out on the trail. I'll let you know what I think of them after I put them through rigorous testing on the trail. In two weeks, I'm gonna be heading to Australia to film the next episode of Epic Trails. So make sure that you are subscribed and that you're sticking around because we're gonna be making loads of videos, behind the scenes type stuff, lots of stuff that will not actually be making it into the episode itself of Epic Trails, which will be airing on Outside TV, by the way. So if you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer the questions as you guys ask them. And also feel free to give me ideas for videos that you guys wanna see. I wanna make videos that are really catering to your guys' interests and questions that you have. So uh, that's gonna be an exciting thing for me coming up is just uh, getting to interact with you more. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and then also make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. And uh, thanks a lot for joining me here today and uh, I'll see you guys later, bye.